Well, good evening, good evening. We're going to start in a minute. Hello, hello, Antonio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, my friend? I'm okay, teacher. Ready? Tell you? me. Oh, I'm just, yes. I'm just fine. Here, ready and happy to start a new week. Okay, teacher. Me too. Mm -hmm. How's everything? What's the plan? How was the weekend? But was great teacher. I I worked on Saturday, but uh, I yesterday I I was at home. Just I I went near Sacatecoluca, but only in the morning. But in the afternoon, I I. I was at home. Hmm. How was everything at Zacatecoluca? How was the weather? Mm, the weather is hot. It is very hot. Because, uh, a pesar de, how do you say? How to say? Even if. Even, even in. Actually, the... actually, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. To be exact, it's like this, despite, 
Spire. 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 Yeah. Spire of the the rainy uh, always is hot. Yeah. Yeah. The same happens. I mean, I was I was for a couple of months. Well, but maybe the... maybe in the in the morning. Mm, but uh, three, two, three or four a.m. is is cool here. But the rest of the time is hot. Yes, the rest of the time is hot. Yeah, I remember once staying. I stayed once in in San Marcos. It's very close. Ah yes. Yes, too. Yeah, it's, it's because it's, 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 it's hot. Yes. In, 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 it's, it's near to San Miguel. So yeah, in San Miguel, it's, it's, it's very hot, too. It's horribly hot. Yes. And in your, in your, where do you live, Tisha? Excuse me. Oh, I live in San Martin, San Salvador. Mm, there is hot or cool? Nowadays, it's hot. I mean, when I was, like 20 years ago, when I came to, to, to San Martin, it was a little bit fresher, but now it's hot completely. I mean, for me, it's hot. Really? Yeah, here in, in my, Around, around in my home is a little, a little fresh because uh, I, I have a tree, tree. Yeah. Around, around the house, we have, we have plant. Uh, at the in the backyard, in the front, in the in around. Oh, that's good. It yeah. helps. It actually helps. Yes, but. Uh, what can we do this year? I mean, it's the weather. We cannot change it. Yes. When is the the verano? How do you say? Summer. Mm -hmm. And in the in the summer, I have to regard oh. your Yeah, water, water. Every night before I I, I go to the bed. Yeah, that's water. Wow. Yes, and and I sleep with the Hello. Sure. Uh, open the doors, open the window, and because I don't I don't like the 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 air of the fan. Yeah, I mean it's well. Yeah, the air from the fan is not that good. Yes. But I mean, sometimes it's it's terrible. It's so hot that it gets crazy. Yes, when I when I use the phone, at the next day I I have a headache for the air yeah. of the phone. Yes, because Co because of the of the air from the fan. Oh yes. But we can do it, teacher. This is life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when I when maybe in the in the future I can face to use the the air condition. It's expensive. <laughs> Very expensive teacher. Yeah, I mean Give me just a second. Okay, teacher, no problem. Well, no, actually, welcome, Antonio. It's nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Me too. Okay, let's see who else is around. Gabriel, hello. 
Good evening, teacher. <coughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? How was the weekend? Uh, fine, fine, you feel tranquilo, poco tranquilo. Okay, what did you do? What did you do in the weekend? Okay, so in the semana. Yeah. Uh, no, no, much. Yeah. Not much. Just being home. For us, for sit, descansar. Oh, okay. Descansar nada más. Eh. Resting, resting at resting. home. Sí, sí. Like this, look, look, resting. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, resting at home. You see? Yes, um, I quit. No, come we, we went to the market. Uh, uh, and morning in afternoon pues we said uh, la realidad solo descansamos el domingo entonces en la mañana el domingo fuimos al mercado y oh that's terrible <laughs> that's... But what can we do, right? Yes. ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Well, pues, yeah. Uh, I like... Uh, I like... Good, ¿cómo es? Me, me gusta ir al mercado a mí con mi esposa. Oh, you like to go. Nice. You like, I like going to the market. I like going to the market. I like going to the market. Uh, yeah, you know, to be honest with you, I don't like it that much. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's like uh, boring. And the problem is this, markets are, are tight of space. Los mercados son espacios muy ajustados. And uh, I am not good to, to, I am not good with crowds. No soy bueno con las multitudes. I mean, it stress me out to see a bunch of people in the same space. It's stressful for me. It's like uh, for me going to the stadium is no good. Para mí ir a un estadio or, or to a concert. I mean, it's, it's not something that I enjoy. Uh, I mean, uh, and my, and my baby makes the From six, como, como es a mi bebé le, le, le enferma también la así la aglomeración de multitud, la multitud. Yeah. I my baby makes it crumbs. Yeah, gets stress. Yeah, it's terrible. Well, Gabriel, welcome. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Hello, Natalia. What about you? How was the weekend for you? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Um, I is very fine my weekend. Uh -huh. I went to the beach. Oh, and yeah. yeah, Saturday. Oh yeah, you told me you were going to San Blas, right? Yes, I I think the weather is very bad, but but it's very good the weather in the San Blas. Um. 
uh, after the beach, uh, we went uh, we went eight quesadilla. We went to eat. We went to eat quesadilla. Um, okay. And yesterday, I I I went round one career. One what? Uh, I I run. I ran. I ran. I ran. Yo corrí una carrera. I... Oh, a career. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's not correct. The... The, the, the expression. Uh-huh. Well, yes, it is. And no, it isn't. Okay. A career is professional. Ah, okay. Okay. What you did was, you have to tell me, you have, you should have told me like this. I ran a race. Ah, okay. Okay. I now, ran a race. A race. Okay, now listen. I always have a, a morning run, okay? Look at this sentence. I always have a morning run. In this I case, thought. it's different because it's just me. In este caso, distinto, porque soy yo solito. I always have a morning run. The second sentence. La segunda, the second sentence is just me. Every day okay. in the morning. Ah, I okay. Go. I understand. Okay. Okay. I yesterday I ran a race. I was running uh, five kilometers. And in the afternoon, I resting in my uh, I resting at home, and I sleep. I did sleep all afternoon. <laughs> all the afternoon. The yes. Yeah, because that's not a, uh, I mean, that's not a nap. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's different. When you sleep that much, that's different. Ah, ok. Y, y cuál es entonces la... No, 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 I, I slept, I slept all afternoon. A nap is shorter. Una nap es una ah, siesta, okay. I mean, a nap can be like... 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour. It's a nap. Uh, but okay. when you sleep for an hour, it's to sleep for one hour. I mean, you get deep sleep. Mm -hmm. um, this is all my weekend. That's all. That, that okay. alone. Okay. And you, teacher? Me, the weekend. Let me see. Wow. You work. Uh, yeah, I had to work on Saturday. I had to. And I mean, I was teaching in the morning. I was teaching afternoon. I was receiving classes from the university. <laughs> then I came home. After I came home, well, that was it. I mean, I was, I finished everything around 6 p.m. on Saturday. Sunday at 6.30 a.m., I was at uh, Universidad de Salvador dropping my son off because he had an activity from the university. And then I, well, I went for breakfast. Then I went to the car wash. After going to the car wash, I came home. I sat on the computer. I, uh, I was working on the computer all from like from 9 to 2 p.m. Then I went to the supermarket after going to to the supermarket, uh, I went to to get my son again at the university. 
Then on my way back home, we pass by having a, a cup of coffee and a little desk, a little dessert. And, and uh, I have pupusas for dinner. <laughs> Teacher, you don't like it. <laughs> no, I hate it. I hate it. And, and that's it. That was my my. That was my and weekend. You did you did pupusas yesterday? Oh, I, I had I had pupusas for dinner. Ah, yeah. Okay. Sorry well, for you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know you have to make sacrifices sometimes. Ah, okay. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance. Thank you very much, Ingrid. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Let me get the attendance. Carlos Olivaldo Abrego Marmo. Present. Okay. Uh, Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Good present. evening, presence. Good evening. Uh, Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Ivania Chamile Dominguez Hernández. Present teacher. Hello, Ivania, welcome. Carla Lisset Garcia Lemos. I swear I saw her. Present teacher. Oh, she's right there. Aquí estoy, Perfect. aquí estoy. Thank you. Yeah, but you turn off your camera. I remember watching you. That's the thing. That's the thing. Oh, that's better. That's better. <laughs> Always better. Luis Antonio okay. Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Thank you. Magdalena Oscalante Orantes. Ah, that's weird. Magdalena is not here. Uh, Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Oh, he's there. Rosalina Alvarado. Let's see, not here yet. El Salvador Alexander Lopez Garcia. Present. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Not here yet. Verónica Arelia Chala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areva Ortiz. Present, teacher. Perfect, Wilfredo. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Welcome, Carlos. Okay, okay, let's see. Yeah, I still got a couple of minutes so we can talk. Uh, let's see who am I going to talk to right now. Carla, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, my dear? Fine. Okay, tell me, how was the weekend for you? Uh, my weekend, I went to a Creepy Names class. Um, uh, my sister in, 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 invited, invited um, me to the movie with his con su novia boyfriend no mi hermano no. me invitó con su novia oh, brother brother with sister okay your brother took his girlfriend to the movies and you went to the movies with him okay and tell me which movie did you go to see um well to watch i'm sorry ¿Cuál fue la verme esta pregunta? 
Yes, exactly that. Um, eh, la huérfana. What is it about? Mm, de, de miedo. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. A scary movie? You want to watch a scary movie? Mm, so, so. That's interesting. Did you like it? Was it any good? Estuvo buena? Um, no mucho. Me aburrió. You got bored on a scary movie. Okay, tell me why. Um, ¿Por qué la aburrió? No le encontré... It didn't make sense. No, no estaba muy, muy buena. Ajá. Okay, it wasn't any good. Oh, yeah, that happened. That happened. I mean, that has happened to me. I mean, they took me once, my wife took me to watch. Uh, Frozen, I guess. I mean, it was traumatic for me. Very traumatic. Okay. Yeah, man. I also went to watch uh, what was the name of this? Mm -hmm. uh, Harry Potter. And I don't like Harry Potter. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, it's, not, it's not my type of movies. Um, is eh, como sería eh, ir a ver el avatar, avatar 2, el avatar 2. Esa me llama la atención. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Eso es bueno. Yes. Well, Carla, nice talking to you. What? Qué bueno conversar con usted. Welcome. Ah, okay. Okay. okay, let's see. I still got time for one more. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Veronica. Hello. Veronica. Hello, teacher. How are you, Veronica? Mm, I'm good. Okay, how was the weekend for you? Um, Nice, but I was sick on Friday and Saturday, but I was resting in my house, um, enjoyed the rain, and I watched uh, four horror movies. Okay, and all everybody here likes horror movies, man. It's my favorite. My favorite type of movies. Pardon? It's my favorite type of movies. Okay. Okay, well. So you were, you had fun. No le escuché, teacher. You had fun. Se divirtió. Um, más o menos, do I have a meeting with my, with my friends to make pupusas on Saturday? 
Okay. Okay, well. How nice you went to have pupusas. Something I imagined you like a lot. <laughs> Not as much as I do. No le gustan tanto como a mí, but it's good, it's good. Okay. Veronica, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Julie. Mr. Chavez, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Are you? I'm just fine, just fine. You know, same old story. How was the weekend for you? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Uh, I was to spend my time with my daughters and my family. Uh, I uh, I cook delicious stuff like a hamburger or sandwich with with fried potatoes and so French, French fries. French fries. French fries. French fries. Finally, uh, I'm going to the park with my daughters, and I run a and I run a. Como dijo ahí la compañera, I run a, a race. I don't remember. A race with my daughters. Uh, only that teacher. Uh, I, I, I have a good weekend, I think. Okay. Well, it's good that you have fun. I mean, it's always nice to share with your family, and I imagine you and your daughters enjoy the moment, right? Yeah. That's great, that's great. Okay, teacher. Okay, well, that's nice. So glad to hear it that you have fun. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Well, welcome all of you. I mean, I know everybody's here like ready to start and we are about to start. Okay. But before we start, uh, well, it's actually part of the class. And I got a question for you. And the question is this. I'm going to share it in the chat. And, and the WhatsApp chat and also in the, oops, let me see. And also here. Okay. What specific information about your work experience can you provide? Today we are going to work, to be talking a little bit about job experience. Okay, hey guys, it's going to be interesting. Okay, so let's see my case. Let me see my previous job experience. Man, I got so many jobs. Let's see, the last job I had was, oh yeah, when I was working previous to this, no, oh, I was at uh, Don Bosco University. It was a very good experience. It was uh, very interesting, but uh, I was just working uh, part-time with them. And yeah, it was a nice experience, as I told you, but just part-time. Before that, uh, oh, I was working at Colegio Garcia Flamenco for I worked for them five years and five, five years full time and five more years just part time. So that's my previous job experience. But I want you to ask your classmate that question, okay? You're going to ask your classmate. Uh, 
what specific information about your work experience can you provide? Now, if I want to be specific, I start like, okay, eh, my, my job experience, I have worked as, a, as an English facilitator for Intafor, working with the program English for Work, also working with the program English Online, that's a different program, and another, some other programs for teaching English uh, that Intafor has. I have worked with them. I am validated for my Intafor to work in all those courses, in all the families of the language, and in all levels, in basic, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, also, part of my job experience is uh, I have experience teaching, preparing students for taking the TOEFL exam. That's one of the activities that I do. And I have been, I was coordinator of an English academy at Colegio Garcia Flamenco. And well, I was assistant of the coordinator and the same position I hold at Universidad Pedagogica for five years. If you see, I am talking about specific. That's what I want you to tell your classmates, okay? Think about it. You, I'll give you five minutes working in groups and in small groups, because when we come back, I will pick five members from the class to tell me about your job experience, okay? So groups are created. Please don't forget five minutes. Sí, ya casi tengo mi cosa. Ahorita se me olvidó. Ajá, guys. What is your job experience, Ivania? Okay. Uh, I go in the area of art and design where printing samples of the best brands recognize uh, worldwide are developed. <clears throat> okay. What about you, Edwin? Um, Some like Teacher, how do you say yes. 400. 400. Yeah. 400. 400. And on some occasions, I did platform like a What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. I am QA QA analyst. I do software tests 
and pay for certification. I use platforms like AS400 and on some occasions I did platforms like Evanka. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. So, what about your classmate? Carla doesn't work. She says that she doesn't need to work. Ni necesita de Um, um eh, give you um alternativa como sería alternatives alternative a uh, client client eh, client perdón um from the uh, of payment a uh, form of okay. pay yeah ways of payment or payment plans pay, payment plan mm -hmm. um, no mucho you see mm -hmm. easy money dinero fácil Okay. She goes like, I mean, she's like, uh, <laughs> take it in easy all day. Se la toma, se la pasa fácil todo el día. Okay. Wilfredo, le tengo que aguantar como a 100 personas o más que ya. <laughs> Mire, créame que para aguantar es poco. Porque tengo que aguantar insultos, tengo que aguantar enojos, tengo que aguantar, ay, no, yo no sé, como que, ay, está bien. Ay. Lo que usted diga, como usted va. Lo que usted diga, está bien, no hay ningún problema. Ay, no, terrible. ¿Por qué? Por los insultos. Yo no sé, como que, ay, gracias, muy amable. Los que no mm. de atención al cliente son los peores que existen. Así me han dicho. Así me han dicho. Nice. What about you, Creo? About me, I have, me too, I have uh, a lot of experience in work, in work at work, call center. I have two years too. Working for a call center. Work. What? what? Working for call centers. Working for call center. Okay. Uh, what call center? you? At Pizza Hut and Claro. And Claro. Claro, 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 Claro. Like uh, support, technical support in Claro. Okay. I, yeah. I, I I love the tech support. I prefer yeah. uh, the customer service. <laughs> yeah, it's better. And what about you, Yvette? Um, my oh, I... oh, she doesn't she doesn't do nothing. She spends all day like this. She says, "No <laughs> nada." This. My field job. Was accounting assistant. Uh, then oh. I was. You know I accounting, even? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I did my first job, accounting auxiliary. Okay, I need an accountant. We will talk. Necesito un contador. Okay. Vamos a hablar. Then I was a course accountant. Uh, and for currency, I am. And auditor, uh, actuality auditor. Auditor. 
Outdoor. Yes. Outdoor. Okay. okay. My life in Tonga. Interesting. Yeah, to be. Uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Okay, let's see. Mr. Chavez, tell me a little bit about your job experience. Okay, I have a, a lot of experience with talk, talk with persons. Okay, what have you worked of? What have been the, some job positions that you have held all along the year? I, I have a, a, lot of, a, a lot of experience with uh, we're in call center. I'm so sorry, teacher. Uh, no a lot of experience in 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 in, in call centers and talk with a lot of people. Okay. Remember, T la, the letter T in this case in center doesn't sound. Center. Call center. Call center. Call Perfect. Call Perfect. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. Interesting. Thank you very much. Let's see, Carlos Celibaldo, tell me a little bit about your job experience. Cuéntame su experiencia laboral. My experience in, in about the delivery of the product for, from the supermarket and, and also the experience the uh, elaborate. Job teacher. Elaboration. Elaboration the low label or, or vignettes. Yeah, labels. Yes. I'm, I'm manejo the Excel. Okay. Uh, and other teach. That's nice, interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. What about you, Salvador? Me? What can you tell me about your job experience? Do you hear me? 
Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. But can you tell me about your job experience, please? Okay. I uh, I have I have worked in the company for ten years, and, and du during all this time, I have I have adquirido adquirido experience in print labels. And, and and I I have I have is my my experience in in work with colors trabajo in color type color tag and I work with color. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this is my experience. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Thank you very much. Edwin. Edwin Alberto. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, sorry. Tell me a little bit about your job experience, if it's possible. Uh, okay. Uh, for example, the experience of learning something new and above, above um, the com commitment and responsibility uh, to Uh, yes. To do me so well, deliver the product, receive it, and immediately report on any product. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see, guys. Let me just give me just a second. Give me just a second. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's just something that I was telling for the class. And just let me. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we are going to jump into the manual. Okay, and we have some very interesting vocabulary. Mm, let me share with you because the first thing we are going to do is what uh, a conversation. Okay, now before before we see the conversation in the manual, I need you to just listen to me, okay? Just listen to me. I will pronounce the conversation twice so you can listen to it. And then I'm going to show it to you. What is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, slash, Seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July 
first. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. I repeat. Oh, to get the context, this is a conversation between uh, the, EH, the HR representative, human resources representative, and a new employee. Okay. What is your social security number? It's 34563245786540. When were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, now let me share with you the conversation. Okay. The conversation goes like this. What is your social security number? It's 34563245786540. In this, remember, some people are going to say, it's 34, 56, 32, 45, 78, 654. Or they're going to say number by number. It's okay anyway, okay? No problem. When were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2011 to, from 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, guys. Now, I will repeat one last time. What is your social security number? It's 345-632-4576. When were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, guys, I send it to the group. And I'm sending right now also uh, a screenshot of the conversation. And I'm going to send you to working groups. But now I want it a little bit different, okay? 
you'll need to do something different in order to, to practice the conversation, okay? And what is it different that you're going to do? Okay. I sent you the recording. So I need you to dedicate uh, two minutes to listen and read as a group, okay? Individually listen and read the conversation. The first time, just listen and read with your eyes. The second time, try to. At the same time that you are listening to me, reading the conversation, try to enunciate the words, okay? I will explain it in Spanish so it's also clear for everybody. Okay, lo vamos a hacer un poquito diferente ahora. Les he mandado la grabación. Quiero que dediquen dos minutos, les digo dos minutos porque la grabación dura 49 segundos. Primera vez, escuche y lea con sus ojos, nada más. Second time, quiero que listen and mouth the words. ¿Ok? Que escuche y trate de formar las palabras. ¿Ok? And the third time, I want you to listen and repeat. Try to follow along. Traten de ir al mismo tiempo. ¿Ok? The idea is for you not just to get the, the, the vocabulary, also to get the way in which we pronounce at the, in the speech pattern. La idea es que también tomemos la entonación y el ritmo con el que se habla. ¿Ok? So, let's do it together this time. Hagámoslo junto esta vez. ¿Qué les parece? Right now you have heard it more than once. Ustedes ya lo oyeron más de una vez. So, we'll go straight to the mouthing, okay? I will be reading slow and I want you to try to mouth, okay? Trata de seguir. Ready? We start in three, two, one. What is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, Six by four. When were you born? I was born on July the first. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, now I want you to, everyone in on your own, listen. And repeat after me. You don't need to open your mic. No necesitan abrir sus micrófonos. But try to listen and repeat after me. Ready? What is your social security number? It's 345 632 Four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there?
from 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, guys. Now, I want you to go to the groups, practice with your classmate. If you need help, get on the recording or call me. I'll go straight. After, I will explain what is the... I will explain some things that I have pronounced there. Luego le voy a, le voy a explicar algunas cositas que estoy pronunciando que quizás no las ven ahí. Like, eh, como cuando les digo, I was born on July the 1st. Le agrego la partícula da. But it's not written. Pero no está escrito. I will explain later to you. And I will also explain after, the, after you say it. I will explain what is a BBA. Luego también le voy a explicar que es un BBA. Ok. So, uh, let me get the attendance before I send you, because I will forget. I know myself. Okay, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Ivania Chamile Dominguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Thank you, Edwin. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Salvador Alexander López García. Present teacher. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Mara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. So now let's go to the groups.
Ser temprano lo chulo. What? Ajá, ahí ve. Ok, let's see, let's see. Did you practice? Carlos Chávez. Sorry, teacher, sorry. No problem, Ivet. Carlos Chávez, you start. You are Alan, I am Blanca. Let's see. Hello, Carlos. Ok, Sal Salvador. Ok. Ok, sorry. Ah, ok, Carlos, you start. Let me okay. hear you. Uh, what, what you, is your... you in Salvador, I'm sorry. Okay. What is your social security number? In three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where do you work? I work in Morsa. I uh, I work in Mo uh, uh, What do you do there? I was the evening manager. When do you work there? From those thousand two thousand five. 2005-2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. hypertension. Okay. okay. Okay, perfect, here. perfect. That's nice, that's nice. Pra practice at least one more time with Yvette because in one minute I'll recall everybody to the main room, okay? Sixty seconds, guys. Okay, let's just wait for everybody to be back. Okay, let's see. Carlos Chavez and Veronica. Carlos, you start. 
Ok, eh, déjenme ver la, la fotografía. Permítanme un momento, por favor. Yo empiezo. Yes, please. Ok, teacher. Este, vamos a ver, aquí está. Eh, what, what is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July the first. Where do you work? I worked in Monster. What do you do there? I was the evening manager. When do you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Hyper, hyper, hypertension. hypertension. And remember, remember, worked, worked. Worked. Thank you very much. Now, Yvette and Gabriel. Okay, okay. Gabriel, you start. Okay. What did you social security number? Six, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 5th. Where do you work? I worked in Molsa. What do you do? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have an university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have a protection. Okay, chronic, chronic, chronic. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Xiomara and Ingrid. Xiomara, you ask the question. What is your social security number? It's three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five. Seven eight six five four. Where were you born? I was born on July that first. Where did you work? I work in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, very well done. Carlos Celibaldo and Carla. Carlos, you start. Okay. What did you social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. Well, when were you work? I was work on July the first. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do work there? I was there even manager. When did you work there? 
from 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Hyper. Hypertension. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Wilfredo and Ivan. Let's see, Wilfredo, you start. What is, what is your so, social security number? It is three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. When were you born? I was born on July 1st. Where do you work? I work in Morsa. What do you do? I was the evening manager. When do you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you, do you have any chronic major condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, perfect. Let's see now. Antonio and Carlos, you have not done it yet. Oh yeah, Carlos did. Antonio and Luis Mario. Okay. Luis Mario, you ready? Yeah. Okay, Antonio, you start. Okay, to change. What is your social security number? It's 345-632-45 slash 78654. When were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Mosa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BVA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have a hypertension. Okay. Very well done, guys. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Salvador Alexander and Mailing. Salvador, you start. What is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July the first. Where did you work? I work in Monza. What did you What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have a chronic medical condition? 
Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay. Very well done. Just remember, Salvador, social security. Social security. Social security. Okay, very well done. Now let's see, Ivania and Luis Antonio. Ivania, okay. you start. What is your social security number? Is three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. When were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Malta. What did you do there? I was an evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, Edwin Alberto, you're missing, right? Okay, guys, let's see. Okay, let me show you something that is going to be a homework for you. And I need you to please pay attention, a lot of attention to the instructions of the homework. Okay, that's for tomorrow. Let me share with you. Okay. In your manual, in page number 16 of the ISAFOR manual, you will find this, an application for employment, okay? So you got here date, position applied for, name, address, phone number, text, mail, female, date of birth, social security number, driver's license, yes, no, employment history, Dates of employment, name of the company, address, job title, duties, education, degree obtained, institution, date. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to in personally fill in this information. Why? Because tomorrow I need you to be prepared because I'm going to be asking you about this information, okay? There are some information that you are not going to tell us specifically, right? Like your uh, perhaps uh, social security number, the, the phone number, you are not going to tell it like specifically or your address. Because I mean, this is public and gets recorded, but you can be creative. You can give me another phone number. You can give me another social security number. I mean, when you talk about social security number, it's like we are talking about the DUI. In the United States, social security number is, is the ID, identification number. Okay, do you understand the homework? Entienden la tarea? Yes, I got it. Yes, teacher. Teacher, the homework you send, you send uh, the career, uh, the email, or send in the chat or, or in, the, in the book there? Do it on your own, on, the, on a piece of paper, ¿ok? Hagan ustedes, su tarea es prepararse, porque yo le voy a hacer esas preguntas, pero oral. Ah, ok. okay. 
Thank you. Teacher, you said yes. uh, you said an important thing about the pronunciation for the pronunciation to oh, the first. Yes, 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 yes. You are right. The situation is this, and let me share with you again. So we are on the same topic, okay? Okay, here. I was born first. Here, I pronounce da, right? In formal spoken English, you use it. You say, I was born, in my case, I was born on December the 17th. You always say it, but you do not pronounce it. Okay? Es algo que lo decimos, pero no se escribe. Nunca se escribe. But you say it. And all people like me, we use it a lot. Personas como de mi edad lo usan mucho. Young people, not always. But formal English, yes. If you are speaking in formal, in formal English, you use it. Okay? Si están hablando en inglés formal, sí lo utilizo. Ponemos este de antes del número, cuando decimos mes y número, ¿ok? Always. Teacher, ¿y es cualquier número? No, we are talking about dates. Estamos hablando Date. de las fechas. Eh, okay. Or en cardinal el numbers, mes, right? Y el número de... Yes. Call date. Now, the other question. We got there a title. Tenemos ahí un título, un BBA, right? Now, uh, okay, when a BBA is a Bachelor of Business Administration. Okay, that's a BBA. Let me type it for you. Bachelor of Business Administration, right? What's a Bachelor of Business Administration? It's um, Es un título, veamos. Ah, like a licenciatura, but not a licenciatura because it's different. I mean, you study, you go to the university, yes. You study three years, yes. You study business, estudia uh, negocios, okay? Es un título de negocios. But what is it, okay? Uh, A BBA, it's very common in business education, okay? It prepares you to be a manager. O sea, lo prepara para un puesto gerencial, okay? Also, if you are like a... a you're planning on setting out your own business. Si usted está planeando preparar su propio negocio. Uh, it's recommended to, to study that. Okay. Okay. But in that time, I mean, you can choose uh, degree programs in BBA, full-time, part-time, online. And there are many subjects. I'm choosing muchos temas, ok uh, you if you are going to study that you need to work on uh, on your etiquette, on conversational skills critical and analytical thinking, adaptability multitasking son las áreas que, en las que uno trabaja ok uh, you can be con ese título you can be a business consultant and you can be in marketing or in advertising roles. You can be a manager, operation manager, a human resource manager, or, or an owner of a business, okay? En esas áreas es que no se mueve. Now, 
it also exists another title. Because that one was a bachelor in business, right? But there's another title. Hay otro título que es parecido, pero no es lo mismo. Ahí está. <laughs> sí. Okay, there's another okay. one that looks the same, but it's not the same. And it's this. Let me. Teacher, the oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mister. Yes, Luis, please activate your microphone. Hello, sí. Uh, the pronunciation is like a Spanish, right? Bachelor. Yeah, bachelor. Yeah, okay. But remember, that's after high school. Eso después de la high school. Okay, thank you. Then, then you have a... Then you have a, a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Okay. Si se fijaron, el primero era un BBA. This is the BSBA. Okay. Now, in this one, uh, you learn more about the theory of the business. Okay. You learn about business models, theories, and how they apply to the business world. Aquí aprende sobre las teorías, sobre modelos y cómo se aplican al mundo empresarial. Okay. It's more like, a, like we here call, eh, es más como lo que nosotros acá le llamamos la licenciatura en administración de empresas. Right? Mientras que el BBA es, es similar. Pero it goes directly to the, to the aspects of, uh, yeah, it's like a technician, Rosalina. It's like a technician. Just remember that in this case, I mean, we are talking about, uh, we are talking that both careers can be three years and then you start going for a specialization in a different area, okay? But if you got a BSBA degree, okay, you can be in accounting. Si usted está en esto, puede trabajar en el área de accounting, contabilidad, marketing, human resources, eh, information technology, business logistics, Project management. Okay. So you are more prepared. Okay. Uh, because this gives you more opportunities because you have a specific technical te knowledge at the same time that you have more job opportunities. Give me just a second, guys. I need to make a small report. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, uh, so if you see, I mean, those are the, the, the little different, the little difference. Now, the, oh, just remember the BBA is three years. The BSBA, it's four years. You got one more year at the university, okay? 
because uh, oh, you focus also more in math. You study more mathematics in a BSBA. In business science, you learn more mathematics. Okay. And, and you, when you finish a BSBA, you, are already, you have already taken an specialization. Any other question? To me, that's it. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Well, guys, Okay, now, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see, because I've got something prepared. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's have a small job interview. Um, hmm. Maylin. Hello. Hello. Let's see, Maylin. Tell me, uh, Maylin, you are at a job interview. Esta no entrevista de trabajo. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am I am the interviewer. You are the person applying. Got it? Got it. Okay. Can you tell me something about yourself? Uh I can. Um, my name is Maylin Manzano. I yeah. have 25 years old and I I have a uh, technician in the IT. It's correct. No. <laughs> mm, and I Yes, continue, continue. You are doing well. You are doing well. Okay. <laughs> I that's mm, it. <laughs> okay. Tell me. Uh, why should we hire you? What is special about you? Sorry, teacher, I, I understand. ¿Por qué deberíamos de contratarla? ¿Qué le hace especial? Oh. Um. No me contraté, teacher. No puedo hablar inglés. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. No, the idea is that we are going to be prepared for that. Um... Okay, let's do something. Hagamos something. Don't worry, Maggie. Okay, guys.
we are going to do something very interesting. I'll give you two questions, okay? Le voy a dar dos preguntas. I need you to prepare a conversation, okay? Van a preparar una conversación. In this conversation, you are going to tell me, uh, you are going to apply at least one of those two questions. En esta conversación me van a utilizar al menos una de estas dos preguntas. Yes. Tomorrow, I'll give you more words for a bigger conversation. I'm going to be giving you vocabulary that is used in job, at job interviews. Okay. I'll give you five minutes to prepare a short conversation, okay? The situation is, you are at a job interview. La situación es, está en una entrevista de trabajo. Simple. So I need you to prepare a conversation, short conversation. Okay, let's see. You are going to work in pairs. Groups are created. Let me check on something. Okay, hurry up. Hola, teacher. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Ivette. My internet, my internet is very bad. <laughs> bad. Okay. I try. Okay. I think to I can can you tell me some something about yourself? Um. And I am Ingrid Palacios. I am 33 years old. Uh, my, my experience is experience. the experience is create social com campaigns. I am com communicator, is very similar to uh, journalist, but is different. Um, I am very responsible. Um, I am very proactive. Um, um, that alone. <laughs> okay. And yeah. just that. Just, excuse me? Just that. Just that. Eso quiere decir solo eso. Just that. Okay. Okay. O puede decir también. Um, uh, 
Ok. Realmente estamos en una entrevista de trabajo. Ah, ok. <risas> Entonces, el vocabulario que vamos a usar es un poquito distinto. Ajá. Eh, that summarizes it all. That summarizes it all. Okay. Okay. Resumiendo, dice usted. Ah, okay. O en resumen. En resumen. Da a entender la idea de eso es todo. Okay. okay. Es la misma idea, solo que recuerde, a, summar, a summary es un resumen. Entonces, cuando usted dice, that summarizes it all, es como, ahí lo resumo todo. Ah, ok, that's textual, all. Pero, pero la idea que estamos transmitiendo en este contexto es, ah, eso sería todo. Ok, teacher, gracias. That summar, summarizes it all. Yep, summarizes it all. Summarizes all. Ok. Ok. Um, What do you look for in a job? Eso se traduce que es lo que tú miras en este trabajo. Lo que es lo que busca en el trabajo. What do you look? Oh, okay. Um, I I look the the grow, growing person the personal growing and the, the, the benefit is, is more important for me. This job, this job have more benefits. Um, the location uh, is very good. Uh, guys. Hey, teacher. Wilfredo, hi Ivan. Hi, hi teacher. Okay, Wilfredo, what do you look for in a job? ¿Qué busca en un trabajo? What teacher? What do you look for in a job? ¿Qué es lo que busca en un trabajo? Mm. Eh. Es como economic. Eh, eh. Como estabilidad laboral, okay. ¿cómo sería? Job stability. Job stability. Ok, yeah, that's very important. And prestaciones. Pres eh, pres prestaciones. Benefits. Benefits. Yeah, benefits. And salary. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Where are you, my friend? At work still? Todavía en el trabajo. Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah. Don't tell me you're in a truck. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So you're going to stay over. Ahí le toca quedarse. Yes, yes. Eh, como llegamos noche ahora acá, nos toca quedarnos en los camiones. Ya de mañana para allá en el hotel. Estamos That's en el nice. Japón. That's, nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Eso le pasó a mi hermano. Y, well, sometimes it happens to him. Mi hermano le pasa a menudo. He works, but uh, mostly he's uh, moving. Uh, él anda con. Moviendo. Mezcla asfáltica. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yeah, so sometimes he has to stay over. A él yes. toca quedarse. Yes, yes, teacher. Well, así, así toca. <laughs> very, like very heavy work, my friends. <laughs> yeah, and in your case, you are the driver and also a mechanic, right? Hmm. Or do you just work as a mechanic? Yes, yes. Cuando, sí, cuando, cuando nos quedamos tengo que hacer mecánica. 
eh, cuando no operando la máquina. Heavy uh, job. Eh, but yes. Anyway, what can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Well, guys, let me go check the rest of the groups. To see if they have finished, okay? Voy a revisar los otros grupos. Thank okay. you, teacher. See you. What about my you? Answer, and my answer is uh, I am um, uh, I work okay I work, I work in this company and I am I am working in this company in 15 years and Project. No, I... Rosa doesn't do nothing. Oh. Doesn't All no. day is like this, like. This. No, forget it, teacher. Today is <laughs> too much, too much work because I review the project and change. Right now, I say. Take it, please break 30 minutes and come to the class. Uh, after this, I, again, uh, at the office at the finish, because tomorrow I uh, will presentation the projects. And we the, present. ¿Cómo se dice junta directiva? To the board. Ah, it's to the board, yeah. To the board of directors. Of directors. Uh, oh, you just say to the board. To the board is okay. To the board, okay. But oh, it's I not hate that. I yeah. hate that. Yes. I, I always hate presenting to the, I have to. I know. Yeah. It's terrible. I know. Yes. Mean, when, like, uh, let's see, when was that? Last year, no, two years ago, they, they were still calling me, offering me a job with them <laughs> again. And no. I didn't accept it because... <laughs> I had to, and I mean, that new job, I was going to, the position was as a manager. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that for me was uh, that I didn't want to, was that I was supposed to meet with the board of directors twice a week. No, no, it's too much. No. Twice. <laughs> and, and every time you meet with them, I mean, Wow, it <laughs> takes like a, because I had to for a time I had to for un tiempo me tocó. Uh -huh. The meetings were like five, six hours. Yes. Crazy. Believe me, Crazy. I, I, I start a a.m. and take a break in the for lunch only. Yeah. I think with the architect engineer, but the, that people is very cuadrado, como se dice así. Yeah, 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 they are stiff. They, I I need to check. I need to check in the budget and something, but always say no, no, no. You put more money. Why? Where? Where take this money? And then, uh, because it's is the loss the time. You um, uh, they yeah, they but, say, uh, yeah, but the problem is that palabras in, están atrasados y, y quieren que no, no se puede. Yeah. The problem is this, that you have an, uh, an unloaded budget yes. for yes. the project. Unloaded yeah. in this case, Chiamara means uh, asignado. Uh -huh. A loaded yeah. budget, that will be a uh, presupuesto asignado. Uh -huh. And something that people don't want to understand is that when you work with the government, I mean... Oops. You sell yes. yes to that budget and it's your problem. Yes, yeah. As simple as that. And besides that, and then comes the penalty. Yes. I mean Big penalty. You know, because this money is, is loan, international loan. Yeah. And then you, you need know, to pay. Los, vienen los penalties for delays, yes. stuff like that. Yeah. 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 
Nah, it's, 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 it's hard, but in another way, it's a big challenge, but I like it, that one because it's oh a new... Gosh. I'm sorry, Rosalina. It's yeah, like okay, go ahead. Go thank you, room. thank you, teacher. I'm thank sorry, you. Xiomara. I got excited here. <laughs> No, no problem, teacher. And Xiomara goes like, oh, no, no problem. <laughs> I know. Thank you, teacher. Hello. Hello. What happened? Oh, I recalled you back. Ah, uh, but I say I'm sorry. Ah, uh, only four. Yeah, but everybody's coming in a few seconds. No worry. Ah. Everything is. I was been... worried. I was worried. And... I was worried. Worried. Okay. Yeah, you know, Veronica is going to be mad at me. Veronica la veo molesta because I don't have more time for her to present. Ella quería presentarme. And there's no more time. And Veronica goes like, no, I want to go sleep. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see it. Very, very, it was interesting. I was moving from a couple of groups and it was a very good activity, the one that you were performing. Okay, now for tomorrow, para mañana. Uh, yes, of course, we are going to have a, a different exercise from the manual. Vamos a tener un poquito de lectura. Vamos a hacer lectura en el manual. But also, I'm going to be giving you more questions. También voy a dar más preguntas of the ones that usually you will encounter in a job interview. De las que normalmente se van a encontrar en una entrevista de trabajo. Okay? I'm going to give you a list of questions that usually interviewers or HR people use. Pero no estas preguntas que normalmente la gente de recursos humanos utiliza while interviewing uh, future employees mientras hacen entrevistas de trabajo. That's going to become helpful for you. Creo que le va a ayudar. And we are going to be practicing. Okay. That's also for tomorrow. Let me get the final attendance so that you can go rest. Para que podamos ir a descansar. Let's see. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Good night. Oh, good night. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Good night, everybody. Ivan Echamile Domínguez Hernández. Ivet Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Beth. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Thank you, Luis. Present. Present teacher. And thank you, Luis. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Good night. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. A good night, my friend. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosalina. Salvador Alexander López García. Present teacher. Sal Salvador Emilio de León Fuente. Verónica Arelía Echala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Gemara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. 
Present teacher, good night. Oh, good night, take care.
Well, time's over. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.